Having a good KPI tracker is essential for any business. It allows you to analyze your performance so you can make data-driven decisions that will optimize and grow your business. Creating a KPI tracker is actually a lot easier than you think. In this video, my partner with ADFOS, Spencer, will take you through a step-by-step -step process of creating and using one in Notion. And if you don't know, Spencer is one of the partners within the ADF portfolio running ADFOS, which is a done-for-you operation. Spencer in his past life is an engineer, and now he's working with seven and eight-figure businesses, helping them scale through systems and software. I'm Spencer, co-founder of 8Figure OS, and I'm going to show you how powerful Notion can be when building charts, KPIs, and dashboard tracking tools. Before we start, here are a couple of things you need to know. First, you need to pick the right KPIs to be tracking. Otherwise, you'll be optimizing your business for the wrong things. Make sure you think through what the most important metrics in your business are and track them accordingly. Second, garbage in and garbage out. If you don't collect data, you won't be able to display it well. Make sure you're collecting your data in an automated way, in a clean way that's easy to display. Okay, today we're going to build a Notion dashboard for different metrics around sales and finances. We've got a sample sales pipeline here with different information. We also have a client database with multiple different payments and services. Now what we're going to do is create a new page and add it here. We're going to call it dashboard and we're going to give it a nice little number 100. Okay. What I'd like to do here is table of contents. We're going to make a toggle heading one. We're going to call this one sales shake. Okay. This is the sales dashboard. So what do we want to show here? I'd like to know how many discovery calls we're booking on a week over week basis. So we're gonna make a chart. It's gonna be a line chart. And we're connected to sales pipeline. And we're going to show on the x-axis, I'm gonna look at the week over week discovery calls. On the y-axis, that's fine. We just need to show the count. And we can see over the last few weeks, how many sales calls we've had. It looks like there's a bit lumpy all the way down from 11 to 24, but it's an upward trend. So that's good. Next, we'll be figuring out actually how many are we closing? There's different stages of the sales pipeline. We could have pitched, we could have closes. I'd like to understand how many of each of those we're doing. So I'm making another line chart and we'll connect it to the sales pipeline. Again, we'll be tracking by discovery call date by week, but in this case, I will be grouping by pitched. Now this doesn't quite look right because it shows how many we pitched and how many we didn't. So I'm going to go into more style options and select group style percent. What this will do is show how many leads on a week over week basis we're pitching. So anywhere from 50 to 75, down to 40% here. We can see our pitched rate is a bit lumpy, which does influence our decisions on the sales front. Likewise, I'd like to know how many closes we make as a percentage week over week. So we're going to make a new chart. Once again, it's going to be a line chart. Once again, connect to the sales pipeline, connected to showing week over week and now group by closed. Once again, we're going to add it into a group style as a percent. And this is actually showing the opposite of what we want. This is the non close rate. So I'm going to instead sort by not closed on the bottom. So as you can see here, close rate is anywhere between 25 and 10%. And it seems to be also pretty lumpy. So I'd be curious about how we could raise this closing rate. Now I'm just going to rename these charts to be close rate, pitch rate, and discovery meetings by week. We could also add these as different views into the same chart here, but I like to keep them separate so I can see them all at the same time. Now this doesn't give us the full picture because I'd like to know where our leads and our closes are coming from. So if we do a breakdown of a donut chart, we can see on the sales pipeline, I want to show lead source. So it looks like we have about, now this is a helpful graph, but I'd also like to see the labels. So I'm going to change the data labels to be name and value percentage. So it seems like 44% of our leads come from organic, 13 and a half from ads and 20% from referrals, 25 from networking. So I can get more granular than this though, because I'd like to know of those, what is my close percentage by source? So instead, I'm going to actually show to make a new chart here. So I'm going to call this one leads by source. I want to show once again a donut chart of leads, but I'd like to also set a filter that closed is true. Now it shows all the closes that we've done. Now I'd once again like to have this as a data value and label. So as you can see, 18% of our leads are referrals, but 55% of our closes are referrals. So the referral rate is much, much higher. And these type of insights become very clear once you track your data. Likewise, organic is 44% of our 
leads, but only about 25% of our closes, so a much lower percentage. This type of information becomes really apparent once you track your data well. Now we're gonna make a finance KPI chart and we're gonna collect them under these toggles just so that we can collect things easily and not have to be overwhelmed by too much data. So take these away. We're gonna have a new toggle, heading one. We're gonna call this finances. Now for financials, I'd like to see MRR over months. So how much money have I made every month? So I'm gonna make a chart again. We're gonna make it a line chart. Now this will be a bit more complicated than the last one, but we'll connect it to payments, client payments. And we want to show date month over month and we're going to look at what to show not count of payments but I'd like to know the sum of the payments I've received. Now this is helpful it looks like the business has had a strong downturn once again this is a sample data so this gives us a good picture of monthly revenue but I'd like to see our client breakdown of revenue so I'm going to group by client here group by name and we're going to be able to see how much of each month was contributed by each client so I can see this is the revenue per client for that specific month. This will be helpful to determine where the money's coming from. And on that note, I can actually see the client LTV. I go to a chart here. I'm gonna make a vertical bar chart connected to payments. And we're going to show on the x-axis, it'll be the name of the client. So we need to group by the amount. And we're gonna group by the sum of the amount to then show all of the clients in their LTV. Now I'd like to sort by sum high to low. And that gives us a very good overview of our revenue per client. So as you can see, client K has given us $50,000 over their lifetime. It's very helpful. Now, one final thing we can do here is create another chart and look at the revenue by service. So as we can see here, we're gonna go to client payments. We're going to show by service and we're gonna not show the count, but the amount of sum. Now we've made $320,000 in the business and that's broken down by SEO. Now I'm gonna give these a label just to make sure I can see it even even easier when I look at it. So I go to styling options, data labels, and name and value percentage. So 20% of our business is ads and the other 80% is SEO, the A20 as you would say. So today we've looked through how to create a dashboard using Notion. We can see all of our data, be it through our revenue breakdown by source, client LTV. We can see our revenue per month as well as which clients paid us when. And we can look at our sales information from discovery meetings per week, pitch rate over time, close rate over time, as well as leads by source and close rate by source. Now that you have this KPI chart set up, you'll be able to analyze all the data that you need to make various business decisions. Having the ability to see this data so clearly is what makes Notion one of the best tools for agency owners.